Welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily morning podcast bringing you the word of life as you wake up to the several possibilities of a new day. May this word stir up your faith and equip you to be victorious. Good morning my dear friends and greetings in Jesus name. Wherever you are, may the mercy of the Lord come searching for you. May the mercy of the Lord lift you up. May the grace of the Lord be given to you at your point of need. All of us are equally dependent on his mercy and his grace for sustenance in our daily living. Whether it is a sin that needs forgiveness or whether it is a discernment and an extra ability that we are waiting on the Lord for, we all need his grace. We all need his mercy. My desire and prayer for you and me is that today we will experience that grace and mercy in everything that we do and every place we go and every transaction that we make. For today's scripture portion, let me read Acts 23 and verse 5. This is the story of Apostle Paul of how he responded to the high priest. It says, Paul replied, Brothers, I did not realize that he was the high priest, for it is written that you should not speak evil about the ruler of your people. The context of this scripture is that Paul, the apostle, he is put on trial and he is in front of the Sanhedrin and they are all speaking wrong and falseful things about him. And there is this particular person who is specifically targeting him and saying things in such a way that will demean and hurt and torture Paul. And Paul, his natural reaction to it was to retaliate. He defended himself. He spoke evil about the person who was trying to hurt him. And that's when it was made known to him that this particular person was the high priest. He was not ordinary. He was the ruler of the people. And immediately Apostle Paul replies and says, I am so sorry. I did not realize his identity. I did not realize who he really was. Now, what he did was definitely worth condemnation. But the moment I understand who he is, what is his identity, what is his position, what is his authority, how does God see him? The moment I understand that, I have to withdraw all criticism that I have against this person. Now, this person did deserve criticism. The way that he treated Apostle Paul was completely unfair. Even though he deserved this criticism, Apostle Paul says, I am going to now withdraw my criticism against this person because I did not realize his spiritual significance. I did not realize his significance in the natural world, in the physical world. I did not realize who this man really is. And the next statement, he says, this is what is written. It is written that you cannot speak evil against the ruler of your people. So the reason Apostle Paul, he is refraining from criticizing this guy is not because he didn't want to, it is because the scripture, the word of God, the law of God, the protocols of God demanded him to respond differently. In the natural, a person who does wrong deserves criticism. But when you understand the ways of God, when you understand the mannerisms of heaven, you will immediately withdraw your pointing finger at somebody who has authority. That's why you would see David, the anointed king of Israel. He refused to hurt the demon-possessed Saul. Even though Saul was doing everything in his power and ability to hurt David, David did not lift a finger against Saul. And that is why God said, this is a man after my own heart. It is because God could find a man who would keep aside his personal vendetta, who would keep aside his personal hurts and personal pain 
in order to honor and in order to submit and in order to surrender to a authority to a man of god i hope that you and i we can posture ourselves like that today i'm sure that some of you are married to a man who doesn't understand the ways of god and it can be very hard to submit in that context some of you may be working in an office where the boss is completely illogical he doesn't understand the things that you do or he may be completely neglecting to honor you and promote you and lift you up or some of you may be in a church where your pastor is mistreating you your leaders are pushing you away or hurting you the question is this are you going to do what everybody else does by backbiting against them and hurting them even more or are you going to sit down and tolerate that injustice and say it is written that i should not hurt i shouldn't harm the ruler of god's people please remember your justice will still come but it will come from the lord when man refuses to give you justice god will fight for you and he will vindicate you he will keep your head held high and meanwhile we have to learn to trust the protocol of god we have to learn to trust the regulations that god has given us the rules that god has given us the word the voice that god has given us as a blessing in our lives obedience to the lord even though it is hard immediately it is never a waste there is always a reward and a blessing and a breakthrough that is attached to your obedience to god's voice and his word so please do not lose faith continue to trust in the lord continue to trust his ways and take a step back where you need to apologize where you need to read the word and understand how you should treat people and make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that many of our ancestors have done let's pray father we thank you for this word this grace this revelation that is given to us today we know that we will no longer complain about our men of god even when some of them may be wrong we will no longer complain about our rulers even when they have been unjust or unfair to us we will trust your promises and your word above our immediate comfort and convenience we thank you for revealing this principle to us one more time in jesus name we pray amen we hope you have been blessed listening to the rema word of god please contact us at pastorpriji.com for any queries or help may the presence of the lord go before you this day